This project in total spanned over the course of 10 months and involved the collaboration of five artists. It was a challenge that was a lot harder than I anticipated. Creator struggles. So let's get into a story time. Once upon a time, just kidding, but Lifeguard DM'd me on Instagram on June 20th asking me if I wanted to customize some Atola Visuals camera skins. And I've known them for quite some time and even have their camera skins on my camera and lenses already. Dun to the dun, right here. This one I love. This has been on my camera since June of 2019. It seems that June is just my camera skin month. I don't know, it's a coincidence. I even made an application video. You could check that out up here. And AFAM in the comments has been asking for an update. So I'm happy to report that after two years and many shoots and travel gigs, it has stayed on strong as you can see. But today we are officially going to remove it. I'm pretty sad, it's bittersweet. But we are gonna do a personal upgrade. So it has to be done. Let's heat it up first for easy removal. Do, 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 do. I feel like we're gonna do operation on this guy. <laughs> no residue. I have surgery hand jeans, so if you had a bullet in you or something, I could get it out. Oddly satisfying. Oh, I should have done a TikTok. So why would anyone put a camera skin on their lenses and cameras? Well, it's kind of like when you put a case on your phone, it protects it. So if you ever want to sell this in the future, it'll protect it from any scratches or dings. And look, it'll keep it nice and shiny and new like you just got it. Plus it looks really cool, so why not? Another great thing is, when we get back to shooting on cruise, if you guys have the same camera setups, you'll know for sure which one's yours. It'll be the fanciest one. Since Atoll is a jellyfish, some of you might not know, but we do donate to ocean conservation like Sea Shepherd to help save our oceans. So naturally and obviously, it would be best if we do an ocean theme slash wave design so we could help to donate more. So say hello to Ola. Oh my gosh, we have so many goodies in here. <gasps> Look at these. So I found some random wave designs online for some inspo and their product team actually did some finessing to see which one was the best one and they sent over the first skin. Lifeguard had this like new 3D effect print texture that looked embossed when the light hit it just right. Ugh, it was perfect. It looked so good on my Fuji Film X-T4, which is what I put it on first. You see that, that lighting? Ooh. I put this skin on around the same time when I was filming my Fuji Film X-T4 review. And AFAM noticed and commented, where can I get one? This was more of like a fun one-off kind of thing, but it got me thinking. What if we did a collab and did an original design to add to their collection? That first example print went out so smoothly, how hard could it be to just design our own? We did have our own graphic designer on board who did our thumbs, merch, emotes, etc. Shout out to Sassy. AFAM would probably really love it because you guys love the Tola camera strap so much too. So why not try something new? Ooh, that's a big one. We're gonna do the big one next. Lifeguard agreed and now it's time to make our own designs. I tasked Sassy with the task and sent her my three examples. Challenge number one. We realized how hard it was to make a repeating pattern because you have to match up this side of the design to this side of the design so it could be continuous. Here are the first few iterations. We did have a decent design I love the hand-drawn lines and everything. The wave splash kind of looked like a paint splash, which I didn't hate, but it needed a little bit more curve. So that's what we got on the next edit. 
I sent that edit in for a print sample and we got it on the Nikon D6. And that's what this one is here. The very first. It was exciting and looked decent on a big sample sheet, but when it came time to see it on camera, it was kind of a different story. Challenge number two. It didn't hit that wow factor like the first print did. The wave splashes didn't really turn out and the hand-drawn lines looked cool as is, but not the waves I was imagining. Could have been because we only had one curved wave or the scale was too big, I don't know. I did get some feedback from my friends and they had a similar mindset to mine. The waves didn't really look like waves and what's worse is they said that it looked like a defect in the design or that it was wet there. Did not sound great, but I did appreciate their honesty. So back to the drawing boards and we had to redo the design. <gasps> wow, boo. Wow, so far. I had no idea what it was gonna look like on the Sony, but I am not disappointed. Talk about wow factor. Ceci gave it her all and I also had her working on other projects of mine. So I didn't wanna waste her time when I didn't even know how to fix it. So here comes challenge number three. I went to my other artist friends to see what they could come up with. My next victim is my friend JR. I always envied him and his drawing skills because they're just so insane. I told him he needed to make a one by one repeating pattern and maybe add some variety in the waves so that they could show up in all the like little pieces of the camera, like here. He gave me back more of these surfer waves and also said how hard it was to make a repeating pattern that we already knew. Who knew there'd be so many different ways to draw waves? I sure learned. They weren't bad, but I wanted to see what else we could get. We do have a graphic designer in the family. His name's Michael. He actually does amazing line art and helped us design one of our jellyfish hoodies. So again, I sent him all the assets and skin print examples that we already had to see what he can do. Michael was so patient with me because we went through so many revisions, like a lot. Here they are. The same time I was working with this with him, I was talking to my Photoshop expert friend Ted about it and he also said he wanted to give it a shot. So Ted worked his magic and found some cool assets to work off of, which I love because they had a lot of variety in the curved waves as well as had more of like a Japanese theme to it, like the original sample design. But I was also worried because I wasn't sure if the waves were gonna have enough definition in the shape. So we have a print sample of what that looks like and my concerns were definitely right. So as I was explaining this, I said I needed space so they needed to take that original outline and make it white, but then make the fill of the waves black. So then there was negative space to create that definition in the shape. Yeah, I sounded crazy. After that was completed, I went back to Michael to finish off the line work. And after a few edits of that, boom, it was done. So now in this package that was just sent over, I have skins for all the cameras and lenses that I use the most. So you guys could see it on a variety of different camera bodies. For those asking, oh, which cameras and lenses can I get it for? All of them. <laughs> what I learned is that making products is a lot of work and it requires a lot of patience and you have to find the correct people to get your idea out of your mind and I found it really difficult for me to express and vocalize what I wanted to. So grateful for this team that had to deal with me because Lord knows I wouldn't even be able to deal with myself. So there's so many versions and communication struggles and print samples. I'm so happy because the final result is amazing. And this was a collaboration between four different artists, myself, and this amazing camera skin print company. So I'm so happy to announce to you the Atola Visuals Lifeguard Nocturnal Wave. So 
when they say trust the process and never give up, I definitely felt it with this project. Every project I learned something new and for this one, it wasn't about perfection, but just doing the best that you can and being proud of your work at the end of the day. And that's what creating is for me. So hopefully you can remind yourself of that when you see this fresh skin on your cameras and lenses. Link will be down below. We're taking pre-orders and they have pretty much every mirrorless camera and lens. So they'll definitely have yours. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram so I can see how good they look. Mm, done. Bye.